Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for Deep Madness's Rise of Dagon expansion. This is one of the two expansions you could order during the Kickstarter. This was not stretch goals put together into a collection or anything like that. This was an actual separate expansion. Also, we have the investigator that came specifically if you ordered that expansion. This was Kickstarter exclusive, but eh, Kickstarter exclusive usually doesn't remain Kickstarter exclusive. Never know. Different from company to company. Regardless, let's get to the contents of this box. So, this is not opening. So this is supposed to be more investigators, more monsters, more stories, not just like, oh, here's an expansion. Like, all of their expansions are more stuff in general, nothing specific. They didn't do, like, here's a box full of monsters, except there are some epic bosses that are just mini expansions, and that I'll get to in a later video. Because for now, we're doing this. So here's the instruction manual. This one's actually thicker than the other two expansion instruction manuals. It seems actually about as thick as the two combined. Then we've got a board full of punch outs, which other than the, what I think now that I think about it are drowning tokens are all unique to this expansion from what I can tell. Nothing looks new. Everything is the same on each side, except these ones here, which then have these faces. Oops. Um, at least they look like they're all the same, so on to the next thing. Then we've got some new tiles, a pair of 2x2 two two tiles, which look to be not like that one 2x2 two two who from the Kickstarter only ones, which was, there's just a single thing, uh, but more rooms. With their non-devour and devoured side. Then we have three one by twos. These two kind of look the same, but they're not. Every tile in this is unique and different, just like in Mansions of Madness, except their opposite sides were also unique and different. Then we've got large cards. Sorry, noticing something this one came with that I did not expect. I'll actually do that right now before I forget. New colored monster bases. I thought they were new investigator bases and then I realized they've got the slots we're putting damage in. Doesn't mean you can't use them for investigators, but you might not want to double up on those really. So these are new monster and investigator cards. So we've got the two investigators, Meredith Waite, however you pronounce that, and Regina Waite. Definitely the same name. You don't have to read into those backgrounds. And then, ooh, then we've got four normal monsters. Definitely some more in line with HP Lovecraft style monsters with the Deep One and the Dagon. Then we've got, huh, there are three versions of Dagon. There's a regular one. And then this one, which also has another side. I don't know if they're all three different versions. I'm not going to check entirely. And then these are cards that random stuff happens when you kill the Hydra by the looks of it. They've got a bunch of text on the other side, which looks like spoiler stuff that I ain't going to cover right now. So that's all the big cards. Then the standard size cards. Oops. There we go. which is usually equipment and a few other things. Definitely looks like a new type of card here. We've got Sacrificial Daggers, Incinerators, a Weird Statue, The Necronomicon, Weird Eyeball, and that's actually all the equipment. Some new bad cards, the ones you draw out every round, and then these are all looking like Scenario cards, so I'm not gonna go over those. And then I don't know what these are, the ones that I went new type of cards, but they're definitely different. So I'm gonna skip those for now, because again, I have not read any of the expansion rules. I don't even know if they were PDFs, I assume they were. I just wanted to read the core rules and not really spoil anything. So 
So then we've got the smaller cards, starting with the two Investigator Turn Order cards. The randomizers for new monsters, which Dagon is in, so he's got a normal version. Or it's got a normal version. The new room tile cards, one for each to see if they get devoured. And then I'm assuming there's a point to these. Because we've got... Yes, okay. So these look like randomizers of sorts because they all had this back and a couple of them have different things on the front, but some of them are just blank by the looks of it. Like they're not black blank, like the backs of the investigator turn order cards. Then we've got a bunch of cards that look like they match that card that I had no clue what it was from. The front looks very similar, but they're smaller and only have one of the three symbols that were on them. So onto the miniatures. Ooh. Oh, there's also some standy stuff under uh, beneath the tray here. It looks like some of the tile uh, punch-outs were um, portals, which I imagine that's what those would be used for. More paint. At least this time they were a little smart and only used two pieces of paint. Okay. What did they? No, they did. I just had it was stuck for a little. So starting with the first investigator. We got the, who I'm guessing is the mother of the two, and then uh, who I'm guessing is the daughter, and like she's about to sacrifice herself or is fighting with herself. Can't really tell either way. Or maybe she just likes looking at knives from the pointy end. And then we've got some zombie-ish dudes. There's six of these. They're honestly not put together too well. Uh, let's see, can I get to focus? Woo, high camera. Nope. Like, you can see the breaks in both the arms and the neck in terms of where it was assembled. Then we've got this thing that's basically just the base. Angry looking dude with tentacles coming out. There's also six of those. Five of these amphibious feminine looking creatures. And then some more of the similar first monsters that I showed from this box, but different pose. Could be the same, I don't know. And then what I'm assuming is Dagon. Because it's the only one in there. And or it's only one of it. And uh, that's it from the box. So real quick, I'm gonna now go to the, as soon as I can just back in the box so that it's on the way, the standalone investigator that you got if you ordered this. There we go, see, no tape. So, package of cards, which it should be just a few quick cards. Oh, I'm just now noticing where they put the subtitle for them, because I knew that they were given subtitles, like Executive and Assist were the two from the actual expansion. I was wondering where they were, and I just didn't notice. So, here's the model. It reminds me a lot of like how people want to make HP Lovecraft work, because while you can't see on this camera too well, uh, he's holding a book that you can see. There are tentacles coming out of it. So, and a lot of people did pick uh, HP Lovecraft, which, oh yeah, this is definitely based off of now that I look at the picture. Ward Phillips. Okay, so these all are alternate languages. I can't even tell which ones, but here's his turn order card, which is the same image as his main card, which is basically what the model looks like. The tentacles are bigger here. And yeah, he's the novelist. Of course he's freaking HP Lovecraft. It even looks kind of like how pictures of him do. Okay, so that's everything from this expansion, plus the extra pack that came with it. Uh, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general, such as if you want to see any of these models painted earlier than others, or you want to do detailed overviews of any of the contents in this box over stuff beyond the core game, of course. And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my painting videos, 
or my board game overview videos, all three of which I plan to be doing for this game, or anything else that I do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.